These are the highlights of India's smartest podcast, The Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. Make sure you hit that bell icon and don't forget to subscribe. You have a massive Indian fan base. I don't know how aware you are of that, oh, I'm very but aware. you're really, really big in India. I'm aware. Okay. Thank you. So, couple of questions. Again, coming back to the product I'm building, we're targeting the world as our market because we feel Indian startups aren't thinking like that. Indian startups don't want to sell to the world. Therefore, they kind of target India itself. But I feel that India has... products that you can sell to the world yoga is a great product like that it's a soft product it's a concept that you've sold to the world but there's like a pyramid of products that the world doesn't know about that in some indians know a lot about so that's what i agree with that yeah. a lot actually i like that i like that hypothesis a lot yeah um uh, yeah and that goes for any culture in the world you always have something from your culture that you can sell to the world so the question to you is a couple of things one what's your advice for indian entrepreneurs slash content creators and two How's the world looking at India from the outside? Because maybe we're blindsided to that as Indians. Great questions. Let's start with the second one. Uh, I think in the business community, people understand the sheer size of the market. You know, I think in general, the most thoughtful people in business and geopolitical ponderers are thinking about nationalism on the rise all over the world. China, America, mm. India, Brazil, right? So I think that's an interesting when I get into my most thoughtful conversations I think people wonder about America, Russia, China, India, Brazil as well if they put up walls to each other because we went through this huge globalization what will that mean what's the opportunity India's got a lot of people and it's continuing to grow so if that happens that's a very exciting place to do business you know for example mm. I think most people don't want that to happen. You know, definitely not the youth. We want a globalization. And so I think that um I think people for the market inside of itself, I think people see incredible potential. I think in general in the entrepreneurial ecosystem more than the corporate ecosystem, I feel like there's a deep respect for the natural talent. You know, I think when you look at you know many of the great startups in the world I mean, you, you, first of all there's just an enormous amount of people from india but i think the the culture has represented itself the country has represented itself on the global stage very well there's an incredible amount of individuals who have innovated who brought impact i i, I would argue that it's very hard to find any great company in the world that doesn't have many high prominent indian you know citizens or or people that were born there uh within their organizations most senior brass so i think people think there's a lot of talent and a lot of opportunity i personally because i am aware of of what's going on with my fan base there i get the opportunity to listen to a lot of uh emails and 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 dms from india from youth and i feel like there's a level of ambition from the indian youth that feels right to me We're a country full of Gary Vees. I just want to highlight that. <laughs> I, but you know, on. it's funny. I believe that, and I'll tell you something you may not know about this. But I, you know, for everyone who's listening, I grew up in Edison, New Jersey, and for some of the people listening, they may know this: Edison, New Jersey, Metuchen, Isla, New Jersey, um, in the late '80s, became one of the first places that a lot of immigrants from India were settling, and overnight, in 1986-78, overnight, one summer. I came in and we had six new kids in our class all from India. All. And the reason I know there's a lot of little Gary Vees is in those last 5 years that I lived in Edison because that I moved to Hunter and County, New Jersey, so many of my core friends who were entrepreneurs and selling baseball cards with me and hustlers and willing to work were my Indian immigrant friends. Right? And so mm. I know that to be true. The the other thing that has been prevalent because I gave a lot of thought to this podcast and what I wanted to say so probably the last couple of weeks I paid a little more attention to the DMs and interactions I've had with Indian fans one thing that is universal but was very prominent in the last month in my interactions with youngsters specifically in India is an incredible lack of patience mm. that I think is grounded in twofold one ambition which I find beautiful and i think is great as long as you can balance it two which is very cultural in many cultures not just in the indian culture an incredible desire to prove their parents wrong 
<laughs> you got that right, man. And so the advice I would give is cup is going to be very, very, very good advice. I hope. Number one, your parents love you. They do. It's just as a parent, I promise you, it's the truth. No matter how emotionally weak or screwed up or whatever's going on in your parents, even alcohol abuse, whatever it could be, deep down, promise they love you very much. You're you're a piece of them. Mm. Most parents around the world, and I do think at a higher percentage in India, parents care about the status of their child's job and who they marry, and that's terrible. It is bad. Mm. It is bad, and you kids are right about that. Your what you do for a living and who you marry is yours. And if that disappoints your parents so that they can't brag to their friends, well, that's their fucking problem. So you're right on that one. Mm. Next, parents love their kids so much, most of their decisions are based on fear. Many parents don't care that you're a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer. They just think that you'll always be safe and get paid. And they worry about you. They actually don't care about the status of their friends. They just actually believe in their brain because they're not an entrepreneur, because they didn't grow up with the internet, that this is good for you. And right now you're just young and wild and they used to be young and wild and they know the decisions they made that were bad and they think you're doing it. If you can understand those three things, it will help you be more patient because you can have a better relationship with your parents. Do not try to prove your success to your parents, to your sister. Do it because it makes you happy. You have to fall in love with your process, not with the trophies that come from your process.